hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so to in today's video melody Susie sent over a nail drill for me to try out for you guys and as soon as i opened the box it came with this really cute pink nail drill and inside there was two mini boxes that had sanding bits in there and other drill bits to use this one's a carbide bit and there was a pack of cuticle nail prep and then this also had a ceramic bit which is really good for poly gel i see a lot of poly gel girls using that so i am going to put some cuticle oil on my nails i'm not going to be drilling them today as they are a little bit weak and a bit damaged after i'm done rubbing that in i am going to take some top coat and i'm going to apply that on all of my nails and cure it in the lamp for about 30 seconds Next, I'm going to adhere my tips with some base coat. I am going to apply just a tiny bit at the tip of the nail and I'm going to stick that in the lamp. Then I'm going to take the Melody Susie nail drill. I did attach the sanding band to it. I did trim and shape my nails off camera. So I kind of had this on a low speed when I am going to blend in the tip of the nail. I kind of wanted you guys to hear the drill. Once I'm done blending my tips, I am going to apply some base gel on all of my nails and I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Here is the slip solution that I'm using for today's application. Again, this is optional. You can use alcohol. And I am going to be using this poly gel, this glow in the dark poly gel from AliExpress. And I'm going to place a bead at the tip of my nail. I am doing an ombre set today. I also wanted to touch base on something that's been picking up a lot of commotion on TikTok as of late. And that is about having gel allergies. I just feel like it's important for me to touch on this because this is a poly gel channel and all of my content is centered around gel products and i've been seeing a lot of content on tiktok of girls doing their own gel nails at home specifically gel x but i'm sure that the same could very much apply for poly gel as well i just really want people who watch my channel and those that use poly gel to be careful developing a permanent allergy to gels and acrylates is very awful and i feel very sorry for the girls who have developed these allergies using gel products only because they weren't given the proper knowledge or education before using them. So I'm just going to drop a couple of tips for those that use poly gel or wanting to start using it. So my first tip is to use a strong UV lamp. Make sure that you have a really good UV lamp, a strong one that has at least 30 light bulbs, a high wattage, and make sure your lamp has a reflective bottom. This just ensures that your gel cures at all angles and the underneath of your gel is cured as well. I have linked a good UV lamp to use. I did link a more affordable alternative, but I really advise for the safety of your health to just invest in a good lamp. My second tip is to cure your poly gel fully. 
please make sure that you do a full cure with your poly gels and even gel polishes. Flash cures are okay if you're doing a design, but just make sure you cure it all the way completely after you're done. All of Marquardt's labels say to cure their poly gel for 60 to 120 seconds. And I'd say that's definitely the default time slot for most poly gels anyways. Please do not have uncured gel on your nails for longevity. That is the main cause for an allergic reaction or contact dermatitis. My third tip is to not let the poly gel touch your skin. While you're doing poly gel application, please make sure that the poly gel doesn't touch your skin. I know that's like the most difficult thing to do because even I accidentally get it on my skin, especially on the matrix. If you do end up getting it on your skin, just wipe it off with your brush and keep your cuticles from flooding during application. If you do happen to get poly gel on your skin or gel on your skin, just wipe it down thoroughly with alcohol. Follow that up with washing your hands. I hope these tips helped and I really just wanted to put that PS say out there because doing your own nails at home is extremely convenient and it saves you so much money and i would just hate for anyone to be robbed of that luxury so just stay safe always follow precautions and protocols when it comes to nail products and most importantly have fun So you did see that I applied a pink poly gel from SXC as my second color for the ombre. So now I am capsulating it with some clear poly gel. This just ensures that when we do begin filing the poly gel that we protect the design. And I'm doing one full ombre design today. So I am just going to be ombreing my all of the nails and doing the same design on all of my fingers.
so here's how my nails look after application i am going to go ahead and wipe off that sticky layer with some alcohol so that we can begin filing Once I was done filing, I did take the carbide bit that was provided from Melody Susie, and I'm going to kind of put it on a high speed, not too high, I think 6 or 7 is good for me, and I'm going to use that to remove the scratches from my nails. And it did such a good job. My nails are so smooth and so clean. And now we are ready to apply some top coat. I'm going to apply that on all of my nails and I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds.
here are how my nails turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments i actually really love this glow like the purple is so nice and it just looks so sleek i have everything i used linked in the description box please don't forget to like and subscribe make sure you guys check out melody Susie's website and don't forget to use my code the nail wizard 12 for 12 percent off of all melody Susie products thank you once again